I just knew with a minute of medicine for your mind. My first opportunity to serve as a leader in the education arena was because a mentor saw a skill set in me that they figured would build a bridge between the parents and the students and the, and the community and the teachers and, and, and motivate young black men to pay more attention to their academics. And I did have those skills. So they pulled me out the office and put me in a position, and I did okay. But the bottom line is I wasn't ready for that level of leadership yet at that point in my life. I had the skills. I was certified, but I wasn't qualified. You see, I needed to mature. What I'm trying to say to you today, it's real simple, see. Your anointing and your skill set alone doesn't qualify you to be a leader. It only certifies that you have the potential to become one. You see, every great leader has a story. Whether you're talking about Mahatma Gandhi or Nelson Mandela or John F. Kennedy or Mother Teresa or Malcolm X or Martin Luther King. In fact, even Jesus had to sit in training for 30 or 33 years before his ministry started. They all had a story. And that story was couched in some kind of crisis in their life or around their life that they responded to, which called forth the skill set and the potential that was within them so they could walk in their purpose. You see, leadership is not just a position you hold that sits you above others so they can look at you and you can sit pretty and look nice. Leadership is influence, which means that it directly affects the outcomes in people's lives. So before you step in the shoes of a leader, understand that leaders are forged by a process, a heated process that involves crisis and humility to make sure that you have maturity. You see, your skills and your excitement, they only qualify you to be a leader. But to certify you, you got to go through something. It's all about the process, baby. This is new with a minute of medicine for your mind.